We are into such really bad weather at the moment. It is freezing. We're having a very, very bad wintry spell, as I think most of the country is. And it's bitterly cold. It's far too cold, cold for gardening. Um, it's really not good. The wind is just... I've never known so cold a wind. And it's just... It doesn't look that bad. It's really sunny out and it looks quite pleasant and it's snowy. And you go out and the wind goes shh. And it's like <gasps> really catch your breath stuff. So. I'm actually going to use the time to catch up with some housework and to sort of blitz my house because as soon as this weather is gone I, I've got so much to do in the garden that I'm going to be neglecting the house. So I'm going to use this as a good time to sort of have a bit of a clear out of the house, uh, do a bit of spring cleaning in the snow if you like and sort of get a few jobs done that I know will be neglected um, for quite a while. Once, uh, once the sunny weather comes back in a vengeance and the temperatures rise I am going to be full on in my garden so I'm going to use this time very productively in the house. In the meantime, I've come out for um, a little look round and just see how things are going on because I have got a couple of things growing outside, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've come into the polytunnel and it's really quite eerie in a way because there's this blanket of snow covering the tunnel. And uh, I'll see if I can show you. So it sort of looks quite dark and quite quiet. It's really odd atmosphere. But um, it's, in a way, it's, it's good, but it's bad. It's really hard to explain. See, I've got this blanket of snow um, over the top of the tunnel here. It hasn't frozen though, if I touch this. Um, I do sometimes in the colder weather here, um, I scrape ice. You can scrape ice off the inside of the tunnel, which is why a lot of people say, oh, you can grow all year round in a polytunnel. But so far it's been very hit and miss with me because it does still get too cold in here in the winters um, because there's no heat. But it is, say, it's this quite odd sensation with this sort of snow over my head. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, and Ruby, my little dog. Ruby, come here. Come on, Ruby. Ruby, my little dog. She's, um, if I pick her up here, she's actually resorted. This is Ruby. She's got, she's actually got her Christmas jumper on to keep her warm because it's so cold and she, oh she's shivering here, I'll have to take her back in the house, she's quite old and it's so cold out here even in the tunnel, say hello, <laughs> she's shivering, she's got her jumper on. Yeah, so even Ruby's saying she doesn't want to come out and play today. She wants to go back in the house because it's cold, isn't you? So I'm just going to go out and check a few things I've got growing in the snow. In this crate here, which uh, I actually swapped some homemade jam for this for this crate, and um, if I I've got an old shower door on the top of it, which you can see is covered in snow. Um, that was just going into a skip, but you can see in there. There's my onions, and they're not snowy at all. They're quite safe under there. So I planted those in the autumn. And they're, they're doing okay in that crate there. And then over here, across, across the snow, I've got another, another crate here with another very snowy shower door on the top. And underneath here, this pier in there. You can again, I've got um, some shallots and things in there. And they're growing okay as well and aren't too bad. And then under here, very snowy. I've got my garlic protected a little bit by the, the shower door above it. Um, they seem to be doing okay. Underneath this very snowy tarp, let's get my gloves back on. I took my gloves off to turn the camera on and oh my, in seconds my fingers are numb. But underneath this snowy tarp I have got rhubarb. It was starting to come but I don't know if it still is. Uh, yes, there we are. You can see. If you can see. I want to lift it up all the way over there. In the corner there some rhubarb poking through. So I'll cover that back up now 
um, to try and protect it a little bit because it is it's incredibly cold up here at the moment, really cold. Not only is this weather too cold for gardening, it's also too cold for romance. Um, just here I'll show you um, is a pond and it sort of overlaps to the side of the road and it's usually this time of year full of frogs and frog spawn. In fact just over a week ago this whole area was covered in frogs. You could hear them croaking away and see them splashing about but they didn't leave any frog spawn and then they all of a sudden disappeared. And I think what it is is that they must have known this really cold spell was coming and frog spawn can sort of die at really cold temperatures. So they must have all hopped off to go back sort of into nice sort of warm little places and hopefully they'll come back now as the weather changes to carry on their romantic time. The, the pond is, is covered in ice and snow no ducks, no frogs, no frogs born, just a dog. <laughs>